manipulate, yield to maturity, and yield to call. So uh, let's look at the yield of a coupon bond. Let's have a bond with a $1,000 face, a 5% coupon rate. That's the annual rate, but coupon payments are made semi-annually. If this bond is trading at a price of 957.35, what's the bond's yield to maturity? Well, if it's semi-annual, five year, that's 10 remaining coupon payments, and we can solve by trial and error, or it's a lot easier to solve with Excel using our rate function. So let's look at that. What we would do here, we put in the number of periods, we put in 10. That is because five years, semi-annual, 10 payments. Each payment, 5% of 1,000 would be 50. But because it's semi-annual, we're paying 25 each six months. The present value, the bond is selling for 957.35. The future value is 1,000. So we go into the rate function and we calculate a rate of 0.02999, multiply that by 6 to get the annual yield and change it to percent. Now this is a whole percent, 6 percent for the coupon, but we will usually take this to bring it out to increase the decibel. Okay, now that we found the yield to maturity, what if this bond were callable? Now this bond was selling at a price below par, so chances are it would not be called because the yield here is higher than the coupon rate, so the company would not want to call it. But if it is a 10-year, 10% semi-annual coupon bond selling at a price above par that can be called in four years, maybe it might be called. Now more information can be found in Chapter 15. So the bond's yield to maturity can be determined to be 8%. We are going to find the yield to call. Now this time, instead of using 20, in other words 10 years, for N, we're going to put in 8 for 4 years for N. And for the future value, instead of putting in 1,000, we'll put in the call premium. So that we would be using the rate function. Here, for the yield to maturity, it is 20, 10 years, 50, the payment, and that won't change. Minus 113590. Remember, we must use minus sign when we're solving for the payment for us, that proper sign convention for present value, 1,000. And that solves for 4%, multiply by 2, and that gives a yield to maturity of 8%, which is below the coupon rate. Now, if we solve for the yield to call, we should get a yield to call of three, uh, a little bit over seven and a half percent. Let's look at the Excel now. Excuse me. And um, if I solve for the yield to call and the present value, I have here present value we said is selling for one one three five ninety, and now the number of periods. This is where I am should not be putting in 20 here. I should be putting in 8. And now you see we get a yield to call a 7.14%. So remember the important things are future value is not the face value, but the what call price and number of periods is not the number of periods till maturity, but the number of periods to call. And as a consequence, we got a rate of 7.14% for the yield to call, which is lower than the yield to maturity. I said 7.14%. Thank you.